Staying in the U.S., 14 states and the District of Columbia are suing the Trump administration over its decision to roll back uh, an Obama-era program which offered protection to undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as kids. They claim it's an assault on the values that built the states and the nation. But with President Trump having no second thoughts on DACA, some 800,000 people, including many Koreans there, face an uncertain future. Cha sang -mi reports. Koreans in America are watching carefully after the Trump administration on Tuesday said it's rescinding the Obama-era program called Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. President Trump has given Congress six months to come up with comprehensive legislation to decide the fate of the so-called dreamers before the scheme is eventually scrapped over the next couple of years. Attorney General Jeff Sessions made the announcement calling the DACA order unconstitutional and a unilateral executive amnesty. The end of DACA means those covered by the program, an estimated 800,000 young people, including around 8,000 South Koreans, possibly more, could be deported starting next March and first-time applicants will not be acted on after this Tuesday. The five-year-old program gave two-year work and study permits to undocumented immigrants under the age of 30 who entered the U.S. illegally as children if they provided their personal information. An official at the Korean Consulate General in L.A. said there are more than 2,500 Korean DACA recipients in California alone, and because of the seriousness of the situation, there is no immediate measure for the Korean government to take. The Korean American Federation of L.A. said among the Korean DACA recipients, there are more students than workers. The association is concerned they will have to live in fear of deportation and be unable to get support from others due to the need to conceal their status. The move to end DACA could reinforce President Trump's approval among his base, but many in Washington are against it. A study by the Center for American Progress estimates that the loss of all DACA workers would reduce U.S. GDP by over 400 billion U.S. dollars over the next decade. Some business leaders and Barack Obama himself have condemned the move and urged Congress to quickly act to protect the Dreamers. The former president issued his own statement defending DACA's legality and the Dreamers, saying they are Americans in their hearts and minds, just not on paper. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.